Hello, it's Masio here, coming uh, from uh, just getting returning from to see Pope Francis in Washington D.C. Major, major uh, theological bombshell when Pope Francis chooses to use Thomas Merton as the example of the top Catholic theologian from America instead of Scott Hahn. So. A lot of us were shocked, you know, when he put Thomas Merton forward because what we had been taught about Merton was that he converted to Buddhism and got electrocuted in the bathtub. You know, that's how he died because he was he got so far away from Christianity, at least that's what his accuser said. Now I have no idea what ha I know he was electrocuted to death, you know, by accident in a bathtub. Um, but the bottom line is the Pope put him forward, and he's just the opposite of Scott Hahn. Uh, Merton's going to make people say, "Hey, you know, other religions are experiencing God. You know, Buddhism, especially. There's Buddhist monks." Um, you know, they're, they're definitely channeling some spirit, and, you know, they're nonviolent and uh, seeming to be very loving people. So, you know, I'm just saying, the Pope, to put Thomas Merton out there um, as someone who was willing to go further, willing to investigate, to explore, he was an explorer, you know, so he was a Catholic explorer. Um, now, I would, and so for him to put Merton out there, who, as far as I could tell, he was not, you know, putting the Blessed Mother out front, you know, but, so anyway, this is shocking to me, this is shocking, and I believe the Pope did it with much thought and reflection. Because I think what he's saying is that the theology, you know, during the Scott Hahn era has become uh, very Catholic-centered, you know, Rome sweet home. And it really sends the message that you don't come to Rome, you know, you're not home. And the Pope's just going in the opposite direction here, you know, the Pope's saying... No, um, you know, people from different religions can have some truth. They can add something to the uh, discussion, you know. So, and and God's not limited. Don't kid yourself. God's not limited to, um, you know, if a good Buddhist, you know never becomes a Christian in this life you know God's not going to send them to hell I mean you know because if he lived for God you know for you know pro-life basically uh, if he was pro-life and he loved his neighbor as himself then you know I'm not saying the guy's getting right into heaven either, but I'm saying that God's going to somehow give him that opportunity to, um, you know, meet Jesus Christ. So, so anyway, uh, Merton was definitely an interesting choice. So, I think it's just confirmation, and I'm, and I I told you before, Scott Hahn's a great guy, but. The direction that he's taking the theology in is has got to be uh, people got to go the other way with this thing because the Catholic Church has too many uh, sins, really. I mean, and anyone who's like, "Oh, go ahead and list them," right? If you're at a point where you have to say, "What what sins are you talking about?" Then you are so far from the truth. It's not even funny. Okay, so um, 
Anyway, that's pretty much the update. Tomasio coming back from DC with the Pope and his choice of Thomas Merton.